I cannot even laugh. All right, I cannot even laugh. There are now two investors. I cannot even laugh at this. I cannot laugh at this. Do you know how many uh invites I got for this game? Do you know how many people I invited on this game? Over a hundred people. Over a hundred people. And do you know over uh and how many of those hundred people got scammed? Me and you. We do not know how many of those that I invited that got scammed uh, uh, on this game. Like, I don't know. So, I'm sorry for anybody that I invited in this game. Because, jeez, if y'all did not know, uh, the owner or quote-unquote founder, yeah, he scammed everybody. He scammed his whole group, his whole entire Discord. He scammed all of them. All of them. All of them. All right. So they said that he changed his name. Oh, hold on. Where were he? Where was he? Do not panic. Do not, bro. You had thirty k. You're down to twenty eight k. They have over like thirty k uh people. So now, I'm not gonna say if, the, if all of this if it's false or. If it's true, I mean, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the owner, Ankri. I don't know if he's still the owner because over here they say his name is Ankri and this dude's name is Ankri. So he must be the owner. Maybe. And he says it's false. All right. Okay. So the thing is, somebody exposed him. <laughs> So somebody exposed him and said that he scammed everybody and the game was not even being worked on. So everybody, he had the idea that the game is being worked on. Uh, Bleach Prodigy. <laughs> it's actually funny, you know, it's actually funny. These guys really laughed at Bleach uh, era when it came out. Like, I was just telling them, bro, y'all are laughing. Your game is not even out. Nobody have even done the testing. And you're laughing at Bleach uh, era. It's actually a done game. It's actually out. Actually, people can actually judge the game. Yours is not even out. Yours is all just talk and sneak peeks. Like, let's go to sneak peeks and see. Do they even have a gameplay? Do they? No, all they do is just have all of these. All of do. This is all just they show. I mean, there were more sneak peeks over here. Just, uh, I don't know, masks, around cars, blah, blah, blah. That's all that were shown. There were no gameplays. I mean, if you go, even if you go to Bleach Era, if you see the sneak peeks, they show you uh, gameplays and all that stuff. I mean, I know it's been made for like, it's been making for like almost like two years. And these guys were literally just laughing at this game. And your game is not even out. And now who's been called a, uh, whatever they're called, a scammer. I'm going to address this as well. Sanko has not been a developer for Bleach Prodigy for seven plus months. Okay. What he says has no real relation to it. In addition, he also robbed assets he was given access to. So this dude, I guess, uh, Sanko used to be a, uh, a dev, I guess. Okay, let's read this thing. Because I read it yesterday. I mean, like, if you see, I'm just a simple tester. You know, I asked them for, like, the, um... I asked them for the YouTuber role. I got it. And then when they raised the role, I lost it. But I was not uh, salty about it or angry or sad because I knew that would come eventually. I just wanted to see the tester sneak and eventually I got the tester role because I had like, I don't know, over 100 invites on that one video that I made. Like I got like a lot of invites from there and I got a tester. 
I mean, I should have at least got even a lead or whatever this is. Like, I had a lot of invites in this game. Let me go and check if they still have those. Like, I have one 50 and another 50. Every time that they resetted the invite thing, and then when I go and check again, I'll see I've already invited, like, even more than before. So right now, I have 24 invites. And that's after they've resetted uh, the invites, like, three times today. I mean, these days, they've, like, resetted this uh, invite thing, like, so many times. So first, I had, like, 57, and then I had 37. I mean, 54, actually. No, it was 55, and then 37, and then 24. That's a lot of invites. Like, I've helped this game a lot. Okay. On that 28K, uh, or maybe 30, used to be 30, I have, like, the 10% of it. I'm responsible for 10, actually, maybe, like, 1.5% of it. But that's, that's still investing, okay? Because there are some people who actually invested money into this. Like, they invested money into this game so i don't know if they're still scammed or not doing blah 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 infernacity dm me okay infernacity blah 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 i don't know why he had to make it infernacity like there are some people who are thinking that he was infernasu i mean and i i kind of don't like that you know because there are some ignorant people who just infernacity infernasu then he must be inferno <laughs> They will just jump to conclusion like that. Like, I'm really sorry, but there are some people who just jump to conclusions like that. But let's read. Uh, so, Infernasu has scammed countless giveaways winners of 100 to 1K Robux. Okay. I saw another tweet on YouTube. I mean, on Twitter saying, if you don't scam giveaways, then you're walking L. I guess giveaways are are meant to be uh, scammed. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, he kept on ghosting Nitrix and the giveaway winner. Uh, Nitrix has reminded him countless times about the infernacity, uh, about this infernacity kept ghosting Nitrix. Okay, so his friend tried to tell him, bruh, pay the kids who won the giveaway, man. Come on, do it. But he never did. Okay, he also used one k one million Robux. Sheesh. These people really had a lot of. Like they had a lot of in the bank. Like he he went out with the bag, like a big fat bag. If he's if if this is not him, then I'm pretty sure he went out with the big bag. Damn. Then from the testers community used it on Roblox Limited instead of his game. <laughs> so I guess they use uh they buy uh Roblox Limited for like kind of like investing, like you invest your money into it and then you will eventually get it back once the uh, item like is on a high price, I guess. I don't know. I've never tried to do anything about investing on Roblox or anything like that. So all the people that bought the stuff from Prodigy really got scammed because the money he got uh, from that stuff didn't go into his game at all. Okay. I mean, if he's saying the game, if this is him, I, I mean, if this is him, like the owner, 48 hours game will open. What do you mean? Is it, is it, isn't this just overreacting? I mean, he's telling people, I mean, they're telling people to not panic, but he's panicking. <laughs> I mean, I wish that he was just calm and just say, hey, man, all of that might be true or not, but we have a game. We're going to open the game in 40, 48 hours. Does 48 hours mean two days? Just in two days. It don't say 48 hours and make kids think, oh, in hours? Okay, let's wait in hours, but... 48 hours is two days. Just say in two days, the game will open. And then it will be trash. Unplayable. Yeah. I remember there was a game on here that was like saying that we're going to test the game. Like, you have been saying that the game is going to be tested tomorrow for like, I don't know, like whole two months. Always telling, 
uh test there's tomorrow tomorrow okay let's let's just uh let's wait for this guy to bring in the map uh let's wait for these two to bring in the animation uh let's like and then when the game released all you had like you couldn't even do anything all you did is just moving around seeing the map when they said it's going to be like a testing like that going in the game and then like just looking at the map that is not testing that is not testing like that is not testing testing is like testing out the uh gameplay seeing how everything runs seeing if there's any bugs that was just walking around the game for like hours or something that was just a showcase so apparently he is a liar as a scripter can you confirm prior to has little to no progress yes of course so i i guess this dude over here is the one who's been uh investigating this whole situation i guess what are you trying to get here d nitrix what, what are you trying to get to man what are you trying to get to man mm -hmm. what are you trying to get to i mean you're exposing this bozo boy mm -hmm. I don't know. These days, I'm kind of like spect spectacular. Is that, is that the word? Like, I'm not believing these exposers because these exposers are the exposee. They too are supposed to be exposed. I mean, somehow they're going to get exposed of something. So, I don't know. I don't believe in all of these kind of exposers because they're too somehow like even like a week after this, he's going to be exposed of something else of something too. So Fernacity has lied to countless uh to his community countless times about the game progress. 90% of the sneak peek in his Discord server aren't even in the game because the previous scripter took them. Oh. But why didn't that previous scripter come out and say, hey bro, stop using my whatever? Uh what is it? Uh sneak peeks. Because I was in a uh in a Discord server where a uh a scripter left the game and he was the one who made the map so he left with his map and then he told the game to not use his map again like he had to tell them publicly and we all saw that so why didn't this scripter come out and say hey man stop telling people about their snake pics man it's not it's not in the game it's not stop giving them hope why didn't he not come out and just say that publicly like in the server or maybe on twitter because I know most of them on Twitter. Okay. He didn't even pay his scripter. The snakes, like the Sero and Yam uh, Yamamoto Shikai and the Flash Step, aren't even in the game because the scripter took it. His past scripters admitted to Bleach Prodigy having no progress. I see that you said scripters, but I only see one scripter. You're only talking to Senko, Nitrix. Where's the other scripters? You said scripters, man. Scripter. Where are his past scripters? Let me see his other past scripters. I'm just joking. I mean, if you can't tell, most of the time in this video, I'm just joking. But I'm actually at the serious too because uh, this have been like happening recently to a lot of in a lot of communities. Like here's my advice don't invest into something that you have not checked out yet like this is what i i, I believe like for you to be an investor you have to be shown what you're getting into like they have to invite you into the game and then you can see how the game is going how the game is looking like make sure that you're investing into something that you actually want to invest into like i'm pretty sure that's how like uh it work in the uh, real world like you show people like if you want if you want to get investors like you tell them your business idea you show them how it can change the world or it can bring money and you show how like the you, like you give them evidence like you can't just invest without evidence like because that's just you're just losing your money and you're just getting scammed like that's easily if you did not ask for any evidence of how the game is like you can ask for, for progress and it can just tell you the number I mean, people say the numbers don't lie, but the numbers actually lie. Because he, he can just pull up any numbers in his head. and hmm, What number will sound good? I mean, if I tell him 40% and 
the game have been in development for like two years, then he will see something fishy here. So, hey, 99.9%. The game is 99.9% complete. So, just wait for another five years and the game will be out. Cyberpunk. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I did make a video on a, uh, on a game that was like Cyberpunk on Roblox. Like, the game have been... Uh, the developers have been saying that the game is already done. They just have to publish it. And then when they publish it, it was exactly like Cyber... Hey, that's what, that was Bleach Era, wasn't it? Did I say that on Bleach Era or what? I think that was on, a, like, on another game on Roblox that said, like, everything is done. And then when you joined the game, it was unplayable. You, c you could not play the game. Uh... Mm. I think anime warriors yeah i think that was anime warriors i think it's like like that game that currently came out and you have to like use a lot of robux to just get the uh, to spin the for the characters okay hitting bugs and um let me check all we have in combat and a half finish yeah oh i guess nitrix is another game dev so Hitbox, and now let me check. All we have is combat and a half finished UI, according to Jay. So, I guess this is another developer or something, someone in the group that was uh, that uh, can talk to the devs. Damn, bro. All they have is just hitbox and combat and a half finished UI. And he is telling everybody the game is 90% done. Bruv bruv i mean why do we never get uh combat testing as testers or did he only just give it to youtubers or something or at least why don't you never get a combat testing those are the things that you have testers for you don't have testers to just be testers and to just come and play the game uh the day before the game is the, uh, released like one day before everybody else you have testers to come and test the game so that you could see if everything is working like how you want it you want it to work if i could see like over here he has a lot of youtubers in this uh he have a lot of mods blah 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 uh a lot of elites 44 elites partner blah, blah, blah. he could like invite all of these people to come and test the game so that the game could like feel heavy i mean like um, you have to, you need to have like a big number of players for you to see how your game uh, will handle player counts. So I think he has like enough people for them to come and test the game and see if the game will handle a lot of players like alpha testers, elite tester, blah, 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 tester. Like they're like rank of testers and they have more than 50 uh, people in there or even more than 100 people. So he had enough people to come and uh test the uh the ui the combat like all of those hitbox whatever had enough people to come and test but i don't know why the game maybe it's just me or maybe because i just came in the game late maybe that's why maybe that's why i don't know if y'all are any te if y'all are testers from this game and leave in the comment section if y'all have ever tested this game because i've never tested the game before <laughs> okay this game doesn't even have a framework after eight months of being under development, framework is needed to financially lie to his coworker, a co-owner. So Nitrix was a co-owner. Oh, about the game progress, saying there was, <coughs> saying there were, were more. He was lying to very much and said framework. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, do you mind zooming in, man? Do you mind zooming in? zoom in yeah 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 zoom zoom in zoom in and so I, zoom in so i could see that uh framework done oh caleb did it or joe oh sir nitrix so infernocity here said that the framework is done okay damn bro damn and it wasn't even done so he said that senko haven't been in development for seven plus months and the game have been development for eight months. So Senko only worked on it for one month, I guess. Infernocity, the racist. Apparently, Infernocity is not black. But he keeps on using the N-word. Uh, 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 uh. 
I mean, why do you even have to tell people that you're not black if you know, bruh, you know that you're not black and now you have to tell people that you're not black and you've been using the N-word, bruv, bruv. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Like, I, I do not have a problem with it because I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's also allow other people to be using it. Like, where are Mexicans using it? I don't think that there was slavery. I don't think that they were in the slavery with us. I don't think so. I don't think so. So why are they using it? But they can use it. No problem. No problem. So I guess if y'all allow them to use it, then why not the other people to use it? Because there's no meaning behind it. It's just some, something that's like, you know, like you don't want to call somebody your brother. So you're not going to use bro. But and then the N word sounds cooler in the community. So you're surrounded by people who be using it like, and it sounds cool. And now you want to use it too. Yeah, use it, use it, use it. Yeah, use it. I, I do not care. But if you add on the ER or the ER and S, uh, please don't st don't stay close to me. If you add, if you keep on adding on these two, please don't stay close to me. All right, okay. If you know, blah blah blah, please should look like. I'll show you a picture right now. This is how it looks like. This is how the game looks like. And y'all don't even test. They don't even give you pro uh uh what is it? A chance to come and test the terrain. You can't even come and come. Uh, you cannot even come to this flat terrain and test. How sad! Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Now, I'm making this video. Uh, not to say all of this is a hundred percent truth. All right, because I've told you I, I don't believe in these exposés, exposers, because these the same exposés uh are the uh are the same ones who are gonna get exposed like after today or after a month from now for doing something else so i don't know it's just an expose z exposing another expose z i guess so so yeah that's that's the claims those are all the claims that we have right now and let's see what the big man says <laughs> I don't know if this is still in Fernocity, but he, if this is in Fernocity, please change back your username. Come on, please. Change back your username. Okay? Uh, so, I blah, 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 blah. Please change back your username if this is you. DM if you need help. I guess this is not in Fernocity. Oh, I mean, in Fernocity. Please change your name into whatever. What is it? Anchory. I guess this is not Anchory. Okay, Nitrix is someone looking for attention who are personally demoted for his practice of not wanting people to ping slash DM him. Oh, so you demoted him because he didn't want people to uh, ping him or DM him. Oh, so I guess he got kind of, I don't know, salty? salty or maybe jealous because i don't know if they said over there i think he was like a cult owner so he was gonna make uh, money a bunch of money but now you demoted him because <laughs> he didn't want to be pinged or to be dm'd he just wanted to be there when the game comes out get the money and he's out he don't want to be involved that's it i guess he was a mod not a cult owner Y'all are messing up my brain. I'm sick and it's early in the morning. I'm, I'm not supposed to be thinking hard about this. Please. Okay, there is a remark I can't say much about. So, it's literally saying, I am a racist. But you're here for the game. I mean, you already, like, invested a lot of money in the game. So, you're not going to leave the game because I'm a racist. Are you? No, of course not. You're not going to leave. You have invested a lot of your time here. So just wait, play the game. If you hate it, hate on the game and then leave. I guess that's what they say. The game will be launched. Do not worry. Document false. He had to edit. <laughs> I 
the document is false. Yeah, not a not a lot of people. Not a lot of people reacted. Only 22, only 228 reacted to that. So that means like a lot of people have already believed. Okay, so let's see. Hope you know 90% of what you're reading is not true. <laughs> Developers get paid per assets. So whatever they work on, they get paid relative to the amount of work they put in. Even if they were not getting paid, they wouldn't contribute uh, continue to work so it doesn't matter in the end also the 30k investment is completely wrong i was in i was an investor of the game and they did not get 30k usd in, in investments so i guess this guy is not in uh he's not in fernacity but where is infernacity though man where is infernacity where is him bro I guess that dude ran away because he's a racist. Because this guy is talking like from a uh, point of view, from another point of view. Like he's saying he was an investor. So that means he was not the owner. Completely wrong. I was an investor of the game and blah, blah, blah. That's absurd. Okay. Investments were somewhere in the 100s. Nitrix is also a complete liar. The document had... Had bad grip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you really complaining about bad grammar right now? This is not an English class. It is not supposed to be a, an essay. Bruh. What you mean you had bad grammar? bad organization and overall no effort put into someone very important nitrix was demoted was being salty about it yeah i i, I saw that one i saw that now for the part regarding infernosity the, the developer scriptures and particularly particularly had no motivation to finish the game infern tried to motivate them to work and end up dragging it out he did not have bad intention for scamming everyone okay quote-unquote scamming the devs were just not working and progress was going slow nitrix out of few other people ended up uh twisting this entire thing and turning infernosity into the victim he is now being didiosed spammed threatened and getting his ip stolen through all of these Yo, hold on. IP stolen? Hey, it's a good thing that he got off Discord. It is a good thing he got off Discord. IP stolen? Bruh, chill out. Bruh, all of this is just a game. I mean, I, I'm not sure that I don't think that you lost like a hundred thousand or even a thousand dollars on this game or even a hundred dollars. You pretty much just invested like fifty dollars. Robux is, you might have like a lot of Robux, but it's not a lot of in like in real life money. Okay, chill out. Why are you why are you out here like uh, stealing stealing IPs? I mean, this is one of the reasons why I don't like being online. Cause like when people know where you live, that is a bad thing. Like that is a really really bad thing. If it, even if they are on the other side of the earth, that's a bad thing. So he's getting spammed, threatens. Why are you threatening? <laughs> and guess what? The ones that are threatening him are some little kids who paid their mama's, you use their mama's credit cards. They're probably going to get spanked. Yeah, that's why they're threatening. <laughs> they're going to get spanked for using their mama's card. Damn, bro. Damn. So apparently, the expose or expose uh, um uh uh huh he's out he's he's not here uh, dms are usually off by the way i'm pretty sure a lot of people are dming you about this and the video uh bleach prodigy combat uh it's not here it is not here i guess uh 
what, what is it called uh what does he do what does he do again private all of the videos or maybe deleted them he is not here expose should he not shouldn't he just be here since he's exposing somebody you're not you're not supposed to run just stay in and if people have some more questions stay here and answer more questions because that's what happened in uh, that one uh samurai game so the exposer just stayed in the game i mean stayed in the discord and argue with people and answer people's questions and he did not run away but this exposer is not here and these videos are privated so that's kind of fishy man that's kind of fishy if you're a real exposer you should stay here and act like you actually expose somebody and don't run and start privating videos of bruv bruv let me see if this dude's still aware alive are you still alive with your server okay he's in a lot of servers i hope he doesn't ksi uh huh uh huh uh huh you were mewtwo we know mewtwo is a controversial person so maybe pokemon mm -hmm. 